Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Let's talk about social media. We're all on it, probably too much, which is why social media is such a great way for artists to communicate with their fans. I'm going to talk a little bit today about the basics, how often to post, uh, stories versus posts, and what types, main types of content that you can post. And then in a future video, I'll talk about how to optimize the effectiveness of your social media presence. So, how often do we post? It kind of depends on the platform. Facebook and Instagram, once or twice a day you want to post. Twitter and Snapchat, where the feed scrolls much faster, there's a lot more content. You can go seven, eight times a day, sometimes even more frequently. Now, your posts on Facebook and on Instagram become kind of part of your permanent record, right? You want these posts to look good, you want them to represent you well. On Instagram, you want to have nice visual imagery because Instagram is kind of a photo-based platform. And that's so new fans, new followers, when they come in, they will frequently kind of scroll through your history and see what you're about and what you have posted. Now, Facebook and Instagram also have stories, and stories are a whole different thing. It's much more of an ongoing, casual, informal narrative because stories disappear after 24 hours. You can copy your posts as stories, but really, the stories are great for just video content, uh, still images, uh, just casual stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect because it disappears in 24 hours, but it's a great way for fans to kind of get a feel for what you're like when you go about your business of being a musician or a human being. Now, kinds of content, at their most basic, there's text, there's still images, and there's video. Typically, text posts tend to drive the lesser engagement in terms of likes, in terms of clicks and comments, uh, but not exclusively. It depends on how good the text content is. One of my personal posts that got more engagement than anything else was a super long text post. So text posts can work, but it's easier to kind of scroll by them. And so a still image, a photo as part of your post tends to, if the photo kind of grabs your attention, it tends to stop people from scrolling right by. And so photos tend to drive more engagement. And really the kind of content that drives the most engagement is video. Short form usually, shorter than this video here, 15, 30, maybe 60 seconds of something cool, something interesting that you're doing. Many people will watch it with the sound off, so make sure it's visually interesting. That tends to get the highest level of engagement from your fans, your friends, your followers. Hope you found this helpful. Next week, we'll talk about how to increase the effectiveness of your posts. See you then.